Welcome to the video presentation on cyanoacrylate glue application. Cyanoacrylate derivatives are compounds with very high tensile strength that rapidly polymerize on contact with basic substances such as water or blood to form a strong bond. This is the commercially available preparation of the glue. The glue is loaded into 1 cc syringe. Few drops of glue are instilled on a sterile sheet. This is the case of a central perforation. Perforation is being elicited with Seidel's test. Epithelium and debris surrounding the perforation is deprided since glue does not stick to the epithelium. TA applied on the back of the sponge is stabbed 2 to 3 times on the sterile sheet so that only a thin layer of TA is left on the back of the sponge. Area to be glued is dried using merosin sponge and back of the sponge is gently touched to the perforated area and glue is allowed to polymerize. Taking care that the patient should not blink at this stage. This is how the perforation looked before and after glue application. Second case of a peripheral perforation. So after debridement and drying of the area to be glued, glue is applied and it is allowed to polymerize. In cases of continuously leaking perforations, it is difficult to dry the perforated area. These cases need to be glued in OT. Intracameral air is injected using 30 gauge needle and perforation is temporarily plugged with air. The area is debrided. Since perforation was still leaking, a portion of a sterile drape was used and glue placed. If these cases still leak, they might need transplant. BCL is applied to avoid irritation due to glue. Hence, using tissue adhesives, many eyes can be saved. Thank you.